Hello once again, everyone. I'm Mark Johnston, your host at Vid Conferences and Vid TV. We have a remarkable opportunity for our very first inaugural Vidcast, and we have the great pleasure of welcoming welcoming Conrad Vasela, CEO and founder of ESE Entertainment. How are you, Conrad? I'm fantastic, and really excited to to chat with you today. Likewise, likewise. Always a great journey with you. Uh, the company itself is so interesting, and I know there's some pretty uh, fantastic news that's uh, coming out of the company as well. So I really want to open the floor for you. But uh, let's just start with an overall. We're ending order one here. Uh, I know you have operations in North America, over in Europe as well. It's a busy company, a great team from what we've seen in the past with some of the introductions to who's on your board and who who works the inner workings of the company. Uh, but let's cut right to the chase, uh, Conrad. I'm going to step to the side because my understanding is that you have some pretty special news coming out of the company. Numbers don't lie. 4,069% growth year over year. Uh, $8.03 million on the quarter. Uh, just a phenomenal uh, quarter for us. And uh, the reason I'm smiling is because Q2 uh, is just around the corner and, and we anticipate a similar type growth uh, for Q2. All the hard work, all the dedication, long hours is really shining now. Uh, and you can't deny numbers. I mean, these are official numbers and it, it just motivates us so much. Now we're just even more excited to get our Q2 numbers out uh, because we anticipate them being even stronger. Uh, so it's just a phenomenal time in the company. And uh, it's really special to see the growth um, really shine now. Excellent. I appreciate that insight, Conrad, and congratulations on the happy news coming out of the company. I will ask, can we, could we ask for some more specifics, detailed information on, on where the numbers are, your percentage of uh, year to year uh, that was uh, that was recently shared? Uh, pretty impressive. I just want to understand exactly where that is number wise for you and the company. And then also, how did you get there? I know there's been a lot of strategic moves at the company. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's mind boggling, but, you know, 4000 plus percent growth. Uh, year over year on the quarter, uh, over 8 million plus for the quarter, uh, as I mentioned. Um, and, you know, how did we get there? Um, this is the exciting part. A lot of that organic coming from the acquisitions we did. Um, but we also just completed another acquisition that has an additional 24 million of revenue and over 4 million of profit. So we're gonna be able to now take those revenues and put that onto our books for Q2. So, I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, Q2 is gonna be massive for us. Um, our acquisition strategy, our game plan from day one has been executed perfectly. Uh, and now it's all coming out. We're unlocking the synergies uh, and the vision is now a reality. Fantastic, Conrad. Thank you for that. I, I certainly understand at the helm of a company such as this that you have your eyes and your hands on, on many pieces of uh, a lot of moving parts inside the machine. And, uh, you know, M&A, certainly a growth opportunity for companies that see that opportunity. Uh, I want to just get a little more details from you, if I can, on the acquisition of Game Attic, uh, what that means to the company and, and, and how their particular uh, customers and, and existing clients, uh, how that uh, takes you further into a, a realm of iGaming. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Game Attic, it was not just a tremendous acquisition from a revenue standpoint, but we were able to bring on a tier one group of operators. And that was very important for us. And it's been important for us since day one, not only acquiring a great company, but great people. Uh, and these guys are ready to scale. They bring a whole new set of clients um, that we haven't worked with in the past. And we also have a bunch of clients that they haven't worked in the past. So it's just unlocking those synergies, making those connections, uh, incorporating our operations together. Uh, and we're really going to accelerate both of our businesses. They're just such a great fit for us. Uh, there's scalable technology within their business um, and technology that we could utilize internally across all our assets. Um, so that's the exciting part, you know, now we're scaling. Now we have the tech to scale uh, a massive new client base. 
you know, they've worked with groups like Roblox. They worked with Game of Thrones, you know, these phenomenal games that we're going to start working with hopefully in the future too. And it is just, like I said, it just unlocks those synergies, which is the exciting part. Fantastic. Thank you, Conrad. That gives us more insight into recent acquisitions and what it does for the company overall. I'm always curious, and we've done this before. We've had some great conversations, you and I, in the past. And here's this remarkable human being who, who dove into the CFL, had his time as a football player, moved into gaming, moved into esports. Uh, and here you are sitting on top of the pile of um, uh, success and, and, and growth and opportunity with the team inside that really believes in your vision, it seems. Um, where do you go from here? I know there's been some comments around metaverse and some really interesting buzzwords lately uh, as ESE Entertainment evolves. We have some remarkable footage, I'll say, that you've provided of the studios. Uh, I believe it's over in Poland where you've got the activity of uh, Studio Energy, which, of course, those of us in production still love to this day. It's in our blood. Uh, but looking forward, you, you've done all that now, and, and, and the, the next turning point seems like to, it's taking you to new heights. Tell me more about that. Yeah, this is what I love about gaming in general. I mean, the sky is really the limit. I mean, it's just constantly evolving. There's new opportunities and real opportunities. I mean, look at the, you know, the metaverse opportunity coming in, um, NFTs, all, all these things culminating. But, you know, the foundation is laid with gaming uh, and we're right in the thick of it. So for us to enter into those new spaces is seamless. Uh, but that's the exciting part. You know, there's literally no limit to this industry. Uh, we're starting to make money in Metaverse. We're securing contracts. Um, our gaming developers, our partners are now getting into the space and hiring us for new projects. I mean, it's just phenomenal. It's That's really the beauty of this sector, um, the sky is really the limit and we're seeing it internally. I mean, look at our numbers. It's all proof is in the pudding, right? And it's just, it's exciting to be in this space right now. Beautiful. Thank you for that, Comrade. I do want to ask a bit more uh, from the investor side because, of course, at Vid Conferences and Vid TV, our, our role here is to bring investors and companies like yourself together. So investors really get a deep dive into a company to to make their own informed decisions on on their investment opportunities. So, with that in mind, the timing of the recent acquisition and the growth. I think it's five subsidiaries that you have now with ESE Entertainment. I mean, it's quite an ecosystem. Is is the the word I would use? Uh, how can investors? Uh, uh, take this opportunity now based on where the, the business structure is in terms of these other companies, subsidiaries uh, reporting under the umbrella of ESE Entertainment? It's a tremendous opportunity for investors and potential shareholders to take a closer look at the company because Q2 is going to be the first quarter of a fully consolidated group. So all the five subsidiaries will be fully reported in Q2. Um, so you'll see the whole spectrum as it pertains to revenue uh, of how well we're doing as a company and how fast we're growing. You're also going to get a unique insight into the organic growth that's happening in the company, which is very important. Um, but it's just, you know, you're getting in day one, basically, of a company that has just locked in their five core pieces uh, and ready to scale. Um, so it's a tremendous opportunity to get in and to follow the story uh, and watch us grow because um, we're, we're unlocking some really cool synergies internally. Uh, and, you know, that it could be a great opportunity for a shareholder. I hear that. Thank you. It's always good to hear from the source inside the company where your thoughts are for the investor's interest. So appreciate that. Curious as well about the people you have on your team at this point, Conrad, as you move through mergers and acquisitions, you build the company to a stronger and larger ecosystem. Who are the key players? Who are the stars that uh, really attracted you to, to certainly Gamatic, for example, the management, uh, how they've run that brand? And as it, it comes under your umbrella at EAC Entertainment, I'm curious some of the names and stars out there that are now uh, moving into your brand. Yeah, I mean, it's I have to give credit to the management team. Um, we have great directors. Uh, we're very lucky to have some of the best gaming lawyers uh, in the world that help with our M&A process. Um, you know, Rick Brace, former president of Rogers Media. You know, these are guys with uh, uncanny uh, experience uh, and they've been helping coach me and, and help strategize with the whole team and it's working. 
uh, and it's working very well with how everything's kind of played out with our strategy as it pertains to M&As. Um, and, and basically, we're just going to continue that same strategy. I mean, uh, it's working and it's working well, so we're going to stick to it. Okay, this makes sense. I appreciate that insight as well, Conrad. In terms of where things go from here, we're just ending quarter one. You're moving into quarter two. Obviously, a lot of energy's moved already within the company, and uh, you can see in your face, you're quite excited about where 2022 <laughs> is taking uh, ESE Entertainment. Uh, I'll say congratulations on the effort and the legwork. I know a lot of decision-making goes into these moments where a company evolves to the next level. I'm just curious uh, for you as investors, what should we be watching for, say, in the next three to six months from ESE Entertainment? Yeah, like I said, buckle up for the, the release of the Q2 financials and just follow the news. I mean, we had tremendous news today. We signed a massive partnership with a group out of Germany. We're entering into that market, the biggest market in all of Europe. Um, and just work very consistent with news. We like to tell the story. I'm always eager to get on camera and to tell the story because I, I love the company. I, I really enjoy what I do. Uh, so we try to be as consistent as possible, uh, telling the story and just take the extra minute or two to read uh, and dive into our news releases. I mean, we're partnering with some of the biggest players in the world. Um, and I try my best uh, to be, you know, on camera as much as possible. I buy my own shares. I know I just bought 10,000 more shares. I haven't sold one share since we launched. Um, so, I mean, I'm leading by example and the team is executing at the highest level. Uh, and I think that should be the most important thing uh, for potential shareholders to look at. Who's leading the company? He continues to buy his, his the shares. He continues to deliver. They're putting up tremendous numbers. You know, give us that extra five minutes. Do some research on us. Uh, and I think you'll be blown away. Terrific, Conrad. Thank you. And uh, always, it's it's an opportunity for investors to really dig into a company, do their own research and make informed decisions. That's why we're here as a brand at Vid Conferences and Vid TV. So I appreciate that. Uh, let's imagine we're, we're teaming up again, say a year from now, Conrad, just dream into that moment uh, for a second and say uh, a year later where things might have gone. I mean, you've clearly made some strategic moves of late. I'm just wondering into 2023, we look back in an interview at the end of March 2022, um, what other areas or, or uh, points of development do you think we might be talking about at that time? Is it possible to share anything you have in, in your dream? Yeah, I mean, we made a very conscious decision to plant our flag in North America with our game attic acquisition. So we now have a very substantial office out of Montreal. We want to continue to scale and grow in North America. Um, you know, fast forward a year. I haven't been shy uh, from day one. Uh, I really believe this is a billion plus market cap company uh, and we will get there. Uh, it's just everyone is so dedicated to this uh, project and this company uh, and we have the roadmap to do it. So um, I think in a year, things are going to change significantly. I think we're going to continue to grow, but based on how fast we're growing, it's going to be exciting. I, I'm excited to come back in a year. Let's put it that way. Well, we'll look forward to hosting you again at VidCast and uh, Vid TV as well. Comrade, you're always a delight to talk to. The energy comes through in your smile about where the company is. And I think investors around the world really appreciate hearing from the source what's happening inside the company. So uh, this works well for us at this point as our uh, inaugural VidCast to get out to the world. I know that you'll be doing new and exciting things as you move forward as a company. And of course, we will be watching at Vid conferences to share that message with the world. So I uh, wish you and your team all the best. We always appreciate your open, honest uh, in input and uh, congratulations on where things are. And we look forward to seeing where things go. Absolutely. I love being on. I, I love sharing the story. So let's stay in touch. And I know we'll we'll have a nice chuckle one day when we look back at, at where we're at now, because we're heading a, in a specific direction and it's going up. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Only way up. I appreciate that, Conrad. Thanks for your time and uh, all the best. We'll talk to you soon. Fantastic.